Hey, thanks for joining me today. I wanna to show you a really fun technique for using a frozen buttercream transfer. So here's basically the situation that you've got. You've got a really cute party invitation, let's say to a birthday party or a baby shower or a bridal shower, whatever it is, and you want a cake that matches that invitation. It's really, really easy to do. So here I've got, for instance, just like an owl. This might be for a baby shower or a child's birthday party or something, but I blew it up to the size that I want to go on top of the cake, and I made sure to print it in color. One thing that I really want to caution you about, if you have any words in here, be sure to print that in a mirror image so it's flipped because what's going to happen is you're going to end up flipping it back over once it's done. So even though you're kind of writing out letters in a backwards form, it's going to work out once you flip it back onto the cake. So I just put this down and then I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper. You can wax, use wax paper at home if you don't have that. And I just want to make sure to tape this down in a secure way so that it's not sliding around while I'm putting my buttercream on top of it. Okay, just make sure that's nice and flat. So I'm gonna go over here and basically when I look at it, I wanna make sure that I'm doing the front parts first. So for instance, if I was just piping the owl's eye onto a cake, I would do the black first and then the white on top. Here I'm gonna go backwards because that white is essentially in front, I wanna make sure that that goes down first. So basically what is on the surface is what's going to be seen once it's flipped over. So let's just go ahead and start. This is really, really easy to do. I just have a tip three in all of these bags. And it doesn't matter if you have peaks or anything because the back side's not going to be shown at all. You just want to make sure that that front side is really seen. While I've got the white in my hand, I'll go ahead and fill in the owl's eyes of the white part. Make sure you leave room for that black. All right, so I'm gonna grab my black real quick and then just go ahead and make sure that I get all of this detail in between those little spots. And again, like I can go ahead and cover up the back of that because that's not gonna be seen. As long as what that's touching the surface gets seen, we're good. Okay, going back over here to the white. Okay, picking up my black again. Again, just making sure all of that gets seen and it doesn't matter if you run over the back. I kind of like this a little bit thick, actually, because it can stand out from the cake a little bit. Then I'm just going to go ahead with my uh, yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and do the beak and the feet. And then, again, looking at the chest part, this darker pink is in front of the lighter pink, so I want to make sure that goes down first. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead with the darker pink on the wing as well. I'm just gonna fill that in. Fill in with my light pink here, and you can just go over that again like you did with the white and the black. You can just cover all this up, it doesn't matter because what's on the front side is what's gonna show. I know that's kind of contradictory thinking, but it is. And you're basically just kind of coloring in the lines just like you would a, a cartoon drawing or something like that. All right, and again, just, you, can, you can make this kind of thick here and just kind of cover up those lines. Okay, so basically I'll, I would go back and finish the darker pink here and here. Just make sure it's complete, kind of level on the back side. I would not go to the trouble of going back and trying to smooth this out like with a spatula or anything because you run the risk of kind of marring the, the work that you did here. So once you have this completed, you can pop this in the freezer. I would leave it in there for a good solid half an hour. An hour couldn't hurt. I have one I've already finished. I'm going to run get it and I'm going to show you how to turn it out. So this one I have already frozen solid. You can see it's just the same buttercream that I used before, but it's solid as a rock. So I'm just gonna pick it up, and this time I use wax paper. You can just peel it off and see how frozen solid it is, that it's really durable. And you can just lay it down on top of your cake and it's gonna thaw really quickly. So don't play around in the time that you take it out of the freezer and get it onto the cake. This is just a really fun way of taking a party invitation and kind of turning it into an easy cake topper. So give it a try. I think you're really gonna have fun with it. Thanks for watching.